hello what's up and welcome to this channel in this video guys i'm going to show you how you set up how you fully set up nintendo 64 emulator on your pc and playing pokemon stadium 1 and 2 but i'm going to use the pokemon stadium 2 in today's video and but it's the progress the progress is the same i'm going to show you how to set up the controller how you can set up the transfer pack and how you're going to get your pokemon from pokemon red blue uh, silver gold and crystal and use them in the in the game in the pokemon stadium game instead of using rental ones because uh, they really suck and uh, yeah without anything further ado guys um i'm gonna get to my desktop and i can see you there peace all right guys to start this tutorial you're gonna need a couple of uh, programs and stuff and they all appear listed First one is Moopen64 Plus. This is the Nintendo 64 emulator. We need PK Hex. We need Pokemon Stadium 2, the ROM. You're gonna need Visual Boy uh, or like a Game Boy, Game Boy Color emulator. And you're gonna need the Game Boy uh, Color game as well. This is a ROM. So, with anything for you guys, let's start the tutorial. So, the first thing you're gonna need to do, guys, is to create a folder. Actually, not because I don't think has already a folder so we're just just going to go for go to the move in 64 plus emulator and extract go to browse and just extract it wherever you want to but i'm going to do tutorial i'm going to put it on the desktop so an extract let's go fast here it's going to show you that here it is mu pen we're going to just put it down here and we're going to remove this here to the side first one is done we're going to put it up there then we're going inside the, uh, inside mupen the folder mupen 64 plus and you go down to here mupen plus it's going to show windows protect your pc no worry guys just just click on more information and uh, run as i did close it it's going to show up like this so the first thing we're going to need to do guys here is uh, literally set up the controller so you're going to core we're going to control we're going to settings controller and configuration and as you might see the, the, the default one controller one and then the default one you see already uh, detected my controller it's the xbox one and uh, it's going to be like this memory right so what we need to do here is go to manage profiles you go to new profile gamepad and then they take your gamepad whatever you prefer if it's the PS4, if it's the Xbox One, if it's a third-party controller or the 8-bit though, those fancy ones. And what do I would recommend as well is that you put actually a picture of the Nintendo 64 controller so that when you map, it is actually kind of correctly mapped, right? So for A, I just gonna put on my Xbox controller A. So the thing you do is just to click on it and you have a five seconds timer. Where you can map your controllers b z trigger i use the right one whatever you like feel z trigger the start oops sometimes the the timer goes really fast but that's okay left button right button um here for the d-pad it's literally the directional one you can go for here left hold up left you see sometimes this happens just when you click on it be in the middle the bed up and don't push too fast i noticed that sometimes it takes two clicks so now so control stick yeah controller let's see here controller stick left um we're gonna do that um, let's see. I use this one. Just like the other analog thingy that you have on your Xbox controller or whatever controller is. And uh, left again. Do, oops. As you might see here. Sometimes it happens. Right. Now when you come to the C, C, C things, take this cross cross uh, pad thingy and use this for so let please yeah it is a struggle 
Sometimes it works and sometimes not. But try it a couple of times, guys, and it's gonna work. And then we're going for this here left again. Controller stick up and controller stick left. I don't know why they did it like that. That that you might see here. Um, the D-pads are all here. Left uh, stick, then controller stick left and uh, left and right, and then they go for C and then they go for another. So they actually separate them or you can go like this order if you want to but i like to go like this order anyways if you did all that uh, name your controller or a profile i gonna name it emu emu gaming just save and close and now if you go to controller one guys you might see here it's auto you switch it to emu gaming and you put for the tutorial transfer pack you want not the memory not the rumble you want the transfer pack and you're good and this is actually all this and, and if and uh, one more thing guys for if you want to if you want to look want to this, the game look a little bit better you can upscale it here i would go if you have a decent pc go for four if you go for if you have like a monster pc you can go for eight and if you want to know more information about what's, what the things do, just hover over the, the names as I did right now. And you see 224488 is max. I go for four, works perfectly for me. And I have like, a, I forgot something. And I got like a 2, 270 Super and I got like a, a, a Ryzen 3 727X. And here's screen height and thingy, do like that, 256. It depends on what screen you have, right? If you have a 1080p screen, 1920 by 1080, and I have a 2K screen, so I go for 256 by uh, 14, oops, 1440p. So this is for me the right size for you. It depends on what screen you're rocking, right? Monitor. Anyways, with those all setting, guys, we're done with Moopin. We. No, actually, not. Hold up. One more thing, guys. We, we say you already have a save file for Pokemon Pokemon Crystal. Uh, I have a, I have a ROM, I have the ROM guys and I have the save file for it. I already did, I already played a little bit so for the tutorial stick. So what you need to do guys when you have a Pokemon um, ROM and the save file, it doesn't matter when it is Pokemon red, blue, silver, gold or crystal. I got this crystal version. You go here, gamepad cartridge. Player room, you put the RAM, the, the first thing. Depends on where you put your RAM. I put on my desktop, so you go Pokemon Crystal, I name it. And it's only gonna show you the RAM, so you, you can go wrong with uh, like putting this, uh, putting actually the save file, you see? It's the Crystal version, it's not the save file of the Crystal version. Then you repeat again, Game Boy cartridge, and you go for the player one again, RAM. And this means the save file, as you might see. Let me show you. Save. There in the end. Click on it. And with that, you actually connected the, the Pokemon Crystal RAM and save file with the Mupin 64 Plus um, emulator. So it actually mimics that you actually put the transfer pack in uh, the Nintendo 64. And when you play Pokemon, um, when you play Pokemon uh, Stadium One or Two, it's gonna show up. But anyways, if you did all that, guys, close Mupen. Um, now we're going to um, decompress Pika Hex because I told you we're gonna play with custom ones. So extract all once again at the desktop. Select. Oh, we didn't even select the folder, hold up. Desktop. And we're gonna do like this. You do new, right click. Yeah, right click, new, name it PK Hex. There we go, select the folder, like that, extract it. And it's gonna be in the folder. Uh, where is it, here? So we take again this one away because we did it. We put this one here. We're gonna distract uh, Pokemon Stadium 2. Same thing, extract all. Extract, oops, uh, I forgot to put, make a folder. 
Oh, it actually did. Okay, it did. It mixed the folder by itself. I didn't know that. Because when I did it, it actually did not do the folder. So now Pokemon Virtual Boy and Pokemon Crystal version, do you need them only so you can progress in the game and catch the Pokemon and train them? The Pokemon that you want to? So uh, if you want to play it legit, I, I do play like on a Virtual Boy and have to Bram, but if you want to like to, uh, to have them perfectly, I do that actually here with Pokemon uh, with PKX. Anyways, you open PKX guys, like that. It's gonna ask you to say more more info. What's okay? It's gonna ask you if you want to make a backup folder and whatnot. Just push yes, create on it, and it's done. It's gonna open up just like that. And let's see, you have already as me. Uh, uh, Pokemon Crystal save file because you have to you have to have the Visual Boy and the room uh, RAM to play to get actually a save file or you get one from the internet but I recommend to do it yourself when you save the game you're gonna get save file put the save file inside boom and it's gonna automatically switch to Pokemon Crystal version and that gives you access to everything you got now if you go your party you see here is my spark that I created you just right click on it you view him and let's see we, you don't want to go to the grind you just catch a couple just you just played like for like five six minutes in the game so that you get the pokedex and all this stuff and then like you save it then you just come in and put 100 here so it's already 100 make it shiny if you want to um, here Town, meat level, day, it doesn't really matter, that's not important. Here guys, um, I don't know what the value is here, and it's, I, I always go like for the highest, and it will automatically reset. So 15 is the highest value, IVs, so just put 15 in, just like that. And here, it's going to be boost up all the way. And here the same guys go for 999 it's very really set to 65,000 this is like those are like this those uh, calcium and, and other stuff you know here the same so you have maxed him out with EVs IVs all the stuff this thing is shiny now for attacks guys here where I use why I use PK hacks of course you could do it in the game as well catch them Pokemon legitimately and train them and give them all them PPs and whatnot but it will be like uh, a lot of work and I don't most of that we don't have the time so now the fun thing here is guys those greens those attacks who are green marked are, le are legit attacks for Cyndaquil but we're gonna be fancy here so we're gonna give him we're gonna make him actually a water, a water mon actually only for the sake of the of the uh, tutorial here, guys. So we're gonna give him. Let's see, because there's no internet uh, uh, connection to the game, so old it is. We're gonna put give him hold up, uh, hydro pump, new meta, guys. Where's the hydro pump? Hydro pump. Um, let's see, Hydro Pump. Any, any cool, any cool moves? Hold up. Hold up, does he? Milk drink? <laughs> um, let's see here. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Spore. <laughs> and, uh, Oh god, Aeroblast, of course, this is this is the setup here. And yeah, other than that, you're good to go. When you did all that, guys, go again over the Pokemon and, 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 and right click and set. And it's gonna be the one that you want. Uh, we're gonna put another Pokemon here just for... Let's see here, we're gonna take... Um, let's see, what, what, what Pokemon do we want? Entei, yeah cool, Entei is cool, go over this the one and set, just over the field, right click, set, and 
He's going to be shiny as well. And we're going to give him level level 100, tough cause. Meat, doesn't matter. Yeah, again, it's not found out, it's not perfectly. Only one stat was perfectly on this. Just like that, guys, as I told you. And if you if you notice when you fill up 15 on all the other stats, defense speed and whatnot, and HP it gets up to for some reason, I don't know why. Um, attacks, hydro pump, milk turn, okay, okay, hydro pump, ente, holy shit. Just we're gonna be like a uh, funny with that magnitude, no, mean look, um, mega punch, <laughs> milk drink, uh, hold up, hold up, surf and uh, arrow, no, not arrow blast, maybe dizzy punch, there we go. Okay, and just set it, and we're done. When you when you did all that, guys, you can set up, and here you can in boxes you can put even more Pokemon in. But I'm just for the party and for the sick of the tutorial. Um, let's go to main. He gonna he's not Spark. I'm gonna call him Emu. Emu, just like that. Um, again, set up. Then when you're done with everything in it, just go to file, export, save. Find where you put your save file in, and you see save file, go over it, save. It's gonna ask you, just say yes, and you're good. Close that, and uh, you're actually good to go, guys. That's all you need to do. Like, literally, all you need to do. Now, with all that's done, uh, we're gonna open our Mupen. We're going through Mupen64. And if you did everything right, guys, it's gonna work. Open room, wherever you put it. I put it here. Open it. Hopefully it's not too loud. Let's see. Where is my mouse? Holy shit. Okay, now I think you can hear me again. This was literally loud as heck. I'm going to skip here. Let's see, give me just a second, guys. Hold up, hold up. There we go. Now, if you press that, it's going to work. And as you might see, my game cartridge is in. It's literally mimics the game, the game like it's supposed to be. Alright. Let's go here. You can use them in uh, the arena battles, you can use them in the free battles. Actually, hold up. Let's have a little fun. Let's go to gym later. Castle. I love this game. There we go. And you see, you can use Rental and you have your game cartridge. And I named myself Emu. You see here? Spark and Emu. And they have the attacks Milk Drink Spore, Hydro Pump, Aeroblast. And this guy got Mega Punch, Dizzy Punch, Milk Drink, Surf. If this is a new meta, I don't know. And I like to, and then if you want to, you can go for Rental. Just. There we go. So I can just go for it. And as I said, guys, because um, there's no internet connection and the games are so old, they not don't like. Not let you use the Pokemon, so you can literally go crazy on, on the moveset. Alright, you're gonna take Spark and Entei. And the beginning it's gonna stutter a little bit, guys, but it's like it's like a Samu, it learns the shaders and stuff. Did I not make him shiny? I maybe forgot. Okay, not to. And because the 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 and because the moves not supposed to be uh, on the Cyndaquil, they're gonna be shown in pinkish. That only means that you are hacked, that you hacked the game. So we're going first for Aeroblast because we are OP. Holy sh... What did I miss? What's going on? Hold up. <laughs> Hydro Pump, come on. Holy shit, okay. Did actually really good damage. Hold up, I'm just gonna... Alright. Okay, come on, send the quick... Oh, accuracy, how are you kidding me? Um... Yeah, it's poor Cyndaquil, guys. 100% sleep. Broken. Hold up. Holy shit. 
How can I miss poor? Anyways, I'm gonna switch up to to Entei on that show it works. I think I didn't make them shiny guys for some reason. Did he flash me? Are ah, you kidding me? Um yeah, surf Entei, new meta guys. How am I missing, dude? Because I, I buffed them up so good. They're like really good. Come on, don't miss. And oh my god, are you kidding me? I forgot how hot those game was. Come on. There we go. And of course it's gonna survive because of Ender. Let's try uh, Milk Drink and then be good. Look at the animation. Oh my god, it works actually. <laughs> Okay, okay. Where is my mom? I'm gonna make it smaller. Alright guys, that was pretty much it. I hope I explained everything in detail and I didn't miss anything. It's literally easy as heck, but if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And with that all said guys, I'm gonna get take out of here, have yourself a good day, and my rest, keep it cool and stay awesome. My name is Emu, hey, and I'm freaking out of here. Peace.